With the COVID-19 pandemic pushing airlines to get rid of these old planes faster, they're making new room for a new breed of jetliners to take the lead. As the economy gets better, airlines will see the world in a different way, says John Grant, a senior researcher at OAG in London. OAG is a company that does research and publishing on airlines. Structures of network will change, and larger planes like the 747 and the A380 will be at risk. On the bright side, the newest machines can take us farther, faster, and in more comfort than ever before, he says. They will also use less fuel, which is something that more and more travelers want. With that being said, here are the five new planes that will make traveling different. At number one, the Blended Wing Flying V. If you really want to fantasize about a futuristic transport, plane builders are apparently renewing plans to develop a no-tail blended wing aircraft that looks more like a huge bat. Airbus recently showed a scale model of a prototype design that it claims can lower fuel usage by 20% while transporting hundreds of passengers. Meanwhile, KLM is supporting a similar endeavor, with Delft Technical University, Holland's version of MIT, for a plane model called Flying V. Both of these visionary projects are expected to take years to complete, given us plenty of time to consider how we want to fly in the future. The aircraft prototype is expected to see in 2035. At number 2, the Boom Supersonic The first civilian supersonic jet since the demise of the Anglo Concorde over two decades ago. It hopes to begin test flights as early as 2025 and recently announced a collaboration with Rolls-Royce to develop the engines. Japan Airlines, an early investor in the firm, is one possible buyer with an option to purchase up to 20 of 55 seat planes. The aircraft would travel at slightly more than twice the speed of sound, but would most likely be confined to subsonic speeds that is less than 700 miles per hour over land. Still, the prospect of flying from the East Coast to London in half the time it currently takes or from the West Coast to Asia in half the time, is enticing, especially since Boom promises a pleasant ride with each passenger getting an oversized window. Despite the fact that Concorde fares have soared considerably over the first-class tab, the corporation asserts that fares will not be much higher than business classes. Number 3. The A220-500 this projected expanded version of the nimble Airbus A220 narrow-body airliner, which already has a smaller 100 type in service, would seat at least 150 passengers, putting it within striking distance of the 737 and Airbus's own A320 line. On short-haul routes, the existing A220s which seat 110 passengers are already altering the in-flight experience. With seats at least 18 inches wide and a 2x3 seating configuration, it is a long cry from the standard single-aisle cattle car format of 6 seats abreast and seat width of 17 inches. More windows, 2 in each row, and larger overhead bins serve to alleviate claustrophobia. The A220 also consumes less fuel than previous regional planes, which means airlines will be more willing to try out new routes, with a longer range than a normal regional aircraft there's also the prospect of short transatlantic flights. Number 4. The Airbus A321 XLR The 2019 Paris Airshow hit Airbus A321 XLR will be able to fly around 4,700 nautical miles or approximately 5,400 normal miles without stopping. That's nearly 1,000 miles farther than the 737 and other narrow-body aircraft can travel. Because of a unique design that included a third fuel tank, the XLR can fly up to 10 hours without needing to refuel, roughly double the time most airlines associate with a smaller jet. According to Airbus, the jet works with a 30% reduction in fuel consumption per seat thanks to cutting-edge engines and other technological innovations, placing it on level with the most efficient white bodies. But how long will passengers be willing to sit on a narrow-body plane? For its part, Airbus is delivering a package of modification for long-haul, wide-body comfort, including wider seats, larger overhead bins, and other creature amenities. The plane is expected to see between 2023 to 2024. At number 5, the Boeing 777X The latest series and the world's largest twin jet, it is a suitable successor to the 747. The Boeing 777X appeared to be a victim of bad timing with its projected 2020 introduction postponed due to the coronavirus epidemic. 
However, the delay may now be viewed as a blessing. Lufthansa plans to put the jet into service in 2022, just in time for flying on the types of long-distance international journeys for which it was built to recover. Boeing's latest 777 can transport between 384 and 426 passengers in a multi-class configuration, roughly the same as the 747. The outstanding feature is a revolutionary folding wing that bends up at a right angle to allow the white body to squish through narrow airport docking areas. The airplane also includes a plethora of passenger-pleasing amenities, such as larger cabin, dimmable windows, and supersized overhead bins, which will be appreciated given that the plane can fly with a full fright longer than the 747 or A380. And with that, the buzz has come to the end of the video, but don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos from the buzz.